My colleagues Palomi Saha and Abhishek Mishra are also joining me on the story. Samarth also has been showing us the entire route on which Prime Minister Narendra Modi will now be doing a road show. I'll request all of you to stay on with me because it is indeed a big day for Ram Janbhumi in the city of Ayodhya. In fact, the city is all geared up for the mega inaugural ceremony that will take place. Now, there are extremely important infrastructure projects which will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And the city is all decked up just before Prime Minister's arrival. Now, there is a move to make sure that infrastructure grows in the city. The Valmiki International Airport in Ayodhya is all set to be inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi. He will also be inaugurating the Ayodhya Railway Station, which now has been renamed as Ayodhya Dham. And all this is taking place before the Ram Temple inauguration that will take place on the 22nd of January. Prime Minister will also oversee the preparations of the Ram Temple. This team, uh, Prime Minister's schedule is also including a 15-kilometer roadshow and he'll also be flagging off trains at the Ayodhya railway station and will also be addressing a public meeting. Today is the day when Ayodhya will get the gifts for more than 16,000 crores. We'll be here at the same time giving a new airport, and the infrastructure work which has been done. Let me show you the visual preparations just before the arrivals of Prime Minister Narendra gate uh, which is the entrance of Ayodhya arrangements which have been made here to make sure that uh, sure, uh, there is strict vigilance and uh, security time look at the decorations which has been done today it is giving you see the Suravanshi pillars which are uh, and at the same time if I talk about today Prime Minister 10:45 a.m. in the morning, and towards the airport, the Maharshi Valley Airport, Ayodhya, and afterwards he will also be inaugurated built railway station, and at the same time, the Vande Bharat Express, which will be connecting Ayodhya to all over the India. Now, what is also Seeing, uh, you know, uh, several colors of and folk artists who have come here. You see how these dancers who have come here are performing different art forms, which we are showing you on your visual right now. Uh, very, very. The culture is everywhere, very much evident as far as and preparation is concerned. Let us speak to some of the artists. Aaj kaisa lag I have my colleague Paul in fact, is at the Ayodhya airport. Seeing how beautiful this airport is and everyone is now talking about the fact that we especially after the 22nd of January. That's right, uh, Aishwarya. We're in fact, uh, the terminal building, the outside of uh, the terminal building of the airport Ayodhya Dham. And as you can see, it's completely... Uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, security thoroughfare at the moment. Ending here in a short while from now, of course, he will be inaugurating the airport. And he heads straight to the railway station, the Ayodhya Dham. Dedicates to the nation, the redeveloped Ayodhya Dham railway airport and inaugurates this airport. Two inaugural Air Express will be landing here after the inauguration at the Minister, and as you can see, I'll ask Pavan, in fact, you know, to zoom in into the building because we can see those pictures. That's uh, the of the epic tale of Ramayana, which is inside the terminal. So when you walk through that building in itself, after you the tarmac over here on the runway at uh, this airport, walk in as you are departing from Ayodhya. You'll get a sense of the history, the heritage of uh, the birthplace of Lord Ram. So there's going to be a lot of thoroughfare over here. They're expecting a lot of footfall, not just of pilgrims, of devotees, but of tourists as well. 
that they expect will grow many fold in the years to come after of course uh, the consecration ceremony of the Ram Mandir on the 22nd of January 2024 and when the Ram Mandir is open to the public they're expecting many more passengers uh, to keep uh, coming through this airport at the moment of course with this new terminal building about 10 lakh passengers annually they expect it to grow with of course the expansion of this terminal building a new terminal building the expansion of the runway in itself so bigger aircraft can land over here they expect it to go up to about 60 lakh passengers annually so all set for the day already over here like i said security uh, personnel all on their guard over here the officials uh, from the civil aviation ministry have already reached over here general vk singh we spoke to him just a short while ago mos and the civil aviation ministry is here up deputy chief minister brijesh parthak has also reached they've all come over here to receive prime minister modi as he lands in ayodhya this morning aishwarya Thank you, Paul. Me, Paul, me, who's standing at the new airport, the airport which has now been called as Ayodhya Dham. This is all India going back to its cultural roots. The aim is to tell the world what India actually is all about.